Okay, here we are in what is probably the final episode. Uh, I just want to show you something that I just noticed along the way. If I select a range of data, and I look down the bottom here, I'm not sure if you can see my cursor or not, but down the bottom it says average and it's calculated it. Now that's not getting it out of me having done the calculation, this just does it for any bunch of figures that you select. It tells you the count, how many pieces of data you've got, and the sum, what they all add up to. So that's not because I put those formulas in. That's just something you can quickly do if you're using Excel. You don't even have to put in the equations. If you just want one of those things, you can just select them and it automatically does them for you. But what I do want to show you is some different types of graphs. So first I'm going to start with a pie graph. A pie graph is basically good for saying who is getting most of the pie. So we're going to choose a pie graph and I'm going to choose... I'm actually going to choose a... Uh, a 2D pie. So there we go. So what I can tell from that is that in fact there's no one film hogging most of the pie. You know, although this does make me want to go and play Trivial Pursuit. So they're pretty evenly distributed between the films. So I'm just going to, and what I can also do is watch this, I can grab them and I can split apart the pieces of pie. Oh, when I did that last time it pulled them all apart. Uh, let's, um, let's have a look. Ah, I suspect if I hold the shift key I can do multiples, I can too. Oh no, it's still not working, it's only one piece of the pie, but I can pull out a piece of the pie if I wanted to highlight a particular film. So, let's park that over there, that's kind of good to have. I might just shrink it down a little bit. But there you go. So running time, they've got a pretty even bit of the pie. Uh, let's have a look at the budget. So I'm just going to hide running time. Let's make a pie, pie out of the budget. See if um, one of these films is eating most of the budgetary pie. I suspect it is, and I suspect I know, and you probably know just from looking at that, which one it is. So I'm going to go for 3D pie this time. And you guessed it, that one there, well, here's the one that's pulling it apart, see that? So, in fact, that is going to be, oh no, it's, no, that's Revenge of the Sith, and that is The Force Awakens. So The Force, Aw Force Awakens is eating a lot of the budgetary pie. So that's quite a good way of saying that too. And actually, interestingly, that graph's gone away. I reckon I know why, actually. I think it's because I've hidden its data. So let's have a look at the um, the box office and see who's eating the pie there. I suspect I know the answer to this too, and I suspect it's going to be the most recent film. But I'm going to hide that, and then I'm going to graph it. So let's have a look. So um, where were we? Insert. Let's go for another pie. And there we have it. In fact, that is by far, The Force Awakens is the, by far the largest piece of the pie in terms of how much it made at the box office. What I'm going to do, just out of curiosity, is I'm going to go back here and I'm going to bring back those missing cells. So unhide, I thought so. So now all my graphs have come back into play. So I've got my year of release. Ah, that's interesting. So it's actually brought in all that old data. Oh, there you go. Well, that wasn't such a neat trick. So let's just pretend I didn't make that mistake and let's go back. So in fact, I'll just hit Control-Z and move those things back and Control-Z so that I've unhidden them. And there we go. Now we've got a pie that makes sense. So pie chart is good to have. And while I've got you here, I'm going to show you one more thing, which I think is very, very handy. And that is um, a line chart. So box office, there we go. Um, insert, now we're going for a line chart this time. And I'm just going to, yeah, single line. So as you can see, the, um, the box office is just going up and up, although it did drop a little, amazingly, between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. I actually wouldn't have guessed that. Uh, I'm not surprised it dropped for Attack of the Clones, but keep in mind these films still make a lot of money. But this is where your graphs are really useful. I will actually be back for one more episode with one last trick.